Reese. Hey. Good to see you. This is, you know, this whole sickness thing is a good excuse to boo butts. Yeah, well, I think we just invented that. Nobody, <laughs> nobody did that, that, but now I, that's a good way. It started here. Yeah, we, we started. <laughs> we'll call it the, uh, the Relin. <laughs> yeah. Or the East. East is hard to say. Yeah, Relin. <laughs> Relin. Um, it's better, actually, to touch butts because you're further away from each other's, you know, orifices. So, um, mm. yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, when you when There's you're another, okay. Yeah. Like, why? Why are Do you I need not? To draw it or? Yeah. Well, you, no, I'm not saying to do it naked. I'm saying <laughs> nobody's pulling their pants down and rubbing Not at the butts. Ellen Show, anyway. Not, not in daytime. Uh, <laughs> So uh, we saw each other at the Golden Globes. We did. And you were at the table uh, kind of right next to us. Yes. And, it, and it, I, I didn't know this because I was backstage doing press for a long, long time. You were. Turns out you were uh, borrowing uh, a lot of our beverages. Well, you know, guys, I didn't know it was like a BYOB thing. Well, no. Well, Beyonce and, and uh, Jay-Z were at our table, and they bring their own champagne. champagne. Well, but uh, how did you end up getting their champagne? Well, I just noticed that they were having champagne, and we had um, run out of water at our table. <laughs> Oh, no, you ran out of water. So I was thirsty, and so was Aniston, who was sitting next to me. And I was like, um, well, Jay-Z seemed to have a giant bottle of champagne. And I was like, excuse me, Jay-Z? Because um, that's... What's his name? Excuse me, Jay-Z? <laughs> that's how they say it. In... Do you speak French all it's, of a it's, sudden? It's a little bit of French, uh -huh. yes. Jay-Z? Uh, Jay-Z? Uh, can I have some uh, champagne? Uh -huh. And he was like... Yeah, do you want some champagne? I was like, yes, I do, because clearly he brings the good stuff. But he, well, it's his own, it's their own. They Guys, have their own champagne. I came to find this out. And then afterwards, he sent me a whole case of it. Yes, he sent me a case also. Don't act like you're the special <laughs> one. We, we, we all got cases. We did? I think so. Well, we got a case, and then I found out you got a case. And then Beyonce sent me clothes, and she sent you clothes. No, 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 she sent me clothes. Okay. And then I was like, I think Ellen might like these, and then she sent them to you. <laughs> because Beyonce and I are really good friends. Uh-huh. I mean, really, 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 really good friends. Here we go. And, I mean, in fact, you might say best friends. Really? So, some might say that. What? I think you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've known her a really long time, and I was like, you know what, you guys, you gotta be nice to Ellen because she's really important in our business, and you should probably send her some champagne because she won a big award at the Golden Globes, so that was like me just sort of reaching out and making oh. sure that you didn't feel left out. Thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> Do you text with Beyonce often? All the time. When's the last time? But I just have like a little bee emoji in my phone because I don't want people to know. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm texting. When's the last time you talked to her? And you know, at the Oscar party. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't texted her since? I haven't texted her, but you know, we DM, we DM each other on the Insta. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> right. she follows me. What's happening with your hair? <laughs> What's going on there? Nothing. All right. Um, I want to I wanna talk about this because I know how frightening when someone says, hey, this is a good idea. This will be a good picture. Look oh, at, yeah. So this snake, which is a boa constrictor. Oh, my God, y'all. That's a real snake. So why did that, why was that a good idea? I, it wasn't my idea. But you, were, you went along with it. Well, I just showed up, and then they put the dress on me. I was like, this is cute. And then they pulled out snake. And they were like, this would be really cute if you had the snake on you. And how did you feel with that snake on you? I mean, you look relaxed, but how did you feel? I wasn't relaxed. I, yeah. was, I screamed really, really Had relaxed. you held a snake before? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've held a snake before. What? <laughs> you would know. You don't have to think about if you've held a snake before. I mean, y'all, you know what I had? You know where I held a snake? Where? This is crazy. The first time I was ever on SNL, do you remember Britney Spears and she had the snake on the MTV Awards? Well, they made me play Britney Spears and they put a real snake on me on SNL. But oh, then it wow. never made air. Because it was the dress rehearsal and it just yeah, it didn't dress make it in. Yeah. Um, I have to show you, this happened on the show. We had uh, a snake, a guy, bring a snake Ooh. on. Oh, you did. And, uh, th and I'm usually not that scared of snakes uh, or anything. But this is what happened. Okay. This is an anaconda. Man, this way. Don't I, don't, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, he weighs.
I mean, oh my God, oh my God, it's right. Were you freaking out? Yes, I was freaking out. Did that hurt? No, no, it didn't hurt. It just was uncomfortable and awkward. It was, but yeah, that was Jeff Corwin, season four. And uh, it was a large snake, right? And by the way, has that snake ever been invited back? No, no, I haven't had any animals ever since then. And I, <laughs> they ruined it for all animals. Um, all right, we're gonna take a break and uh, we're gonna talk about your new show and things like that. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God! God!